Our colleagues at CBS Los Angeles and their viewers witnessed a very scary moment over the weekend. It was on the air. KCAL News meteorologist Alyssa Carlson fainted live on air Saturday just as she was about to deliver a forecast. A warning, some of this video you're going to watch is difficult to see. Meteorologist Alyssa Carlson, she joins us live in the studio. Alyssa, this really is the calm before the storm. Not again. <laughs> no. Oh. Whoa. Ay, ay, ay. Alyssa was checked out in the hospital. The good news, we are very happy to tell you she is okay. And we can see that for with our own eyes. She joins us now from Bakersfield, California. Here at the table is CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook. He's here to help us all better understand exactly what happened to you, Alyssa. Good morning. We are so glad to see you. Can I just say you gave us such a square, such a scare. The people who love you, the people that don't even know you were th thinking, is she going to be mm -hmm. okay? So take us to that moment. Did you feel anything amiss that Saturday morning as you were delivering the news? Well, thank you, Gail, and everyone um, there at the table. You know, in the morning, I felt fine. Um, it wasn't really up until about 15 minutes prior to the incident that I started to feel a little nausea. And at that point, I went to the restroom and thought, OK, I, I'll be fine. I'll get through the hit, and I'll get something to eat, because I hadn't had breakfast that morning. Um, I also had been drinking a lot of coffee, and so most likely I was maybe a little dehydrated. So at, at that point, I thought, I'm just going to power through. I'll be fine as I usually yeah. am. Well, yep, we all that's saw what, what happened. We always do, Alyssa. We power through. What did your doctor say ultimately caused this? Well, you know, in the past, I have been diagnosed with a leaky heart valve. So initially, when this happened, I think a lot of people, including myself, thought I was having a heart attack on the air. That was not the case, thankfully. And heart tests proved that um, I'm fine. My heart is great. And um, there's a, a thing called vasovagal syncope. Mm. And that is the condition that I have. I ha do have a history of fainting. Um, it's just when you're on a public platform, sometimes it happens and people now see this. So so it hadn't happened in a while, and I'm now going to have to learn how to really recognize the symptoms of this condition. Mm. Yeah, well, we're glad you're doing okay, Alyssa. Dr. LaPook, she mentioned a vasovagal syncope, if I have it right. It's quite a mouthful. What is it? All right, syncope is blacking out. Vaso is blood vessel, mm -hmm. and vagal refers to the vagus nerve. And if the vagus nerve is overstimulated or inappropriately stimulated, the pulse rate can go down and the blood pressure goes down and uh, not enough blood goes up to the head and you can faint. And we saw with Alyssa, she was sort of propped up so she couldn't go flat. Yeah. And then eventually she went it looked flat. Like she, Alyssa, it looked like you tried to steady yourself and then you, you just fell flat over. You just totally passed out. So it seems like you felt something I could coming, feel that. Right? Yeah. I did. I could feel the tunnel vision coming and just starting to get black. And so I tried to hit the, you know, brace myself on that desk, but no, it was too late. And in all honesty, what I probably should have did was just not bend at that wall for the hit. When I started to feel yeah. something come on, maybe just go and sit in the chair and just let them go to me and take me with nothing there. That leads me to the question do you have symptoms? Yeah, of very often coming? there's warning. You may get sweaty palms. You may feel that tunnel vision. It's graying out. You're dizzy. And people, like, especially in this situation, you're embarrassed, right? I'm going to yeah. just, I'm going to sit up and yes. look normal. That's the worst thing you can do. You want to get flat so your heart is at the same level as your head and it's, it's pumping the flat blood like this way. Lay flat down like on, the on floor? your back, maybe your legs up if you can get it, your head to the left in case you vomit. And that's something that people tend to, especially if you're about to go on the air, that's the last thing you want to do. Yeah. So, Alyssa, you're also a health coach. Uh, given what Dr. LaPook said about recognizing the signs, um, what would you recommend to your clients, the people that come and listen to you going forward? Well, I would definitely say stay hydrated, which I always do tell my clients. And sometimes as a coach, we pour into a lot of other people and we tend to leave ourselves last. So mm -hmm. I recognize that I've had this passion for health for many years and I continue to strive for ultimate health, ultimate health. And I also um, I would tell them, one, get enough rest, um, make sure you're hydrated and take care of yourself. Um, as I was talking to the camera person this morning, I said sometimes we Put ourselves last we go 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 until something happens and yeah. then it's too uh, late Alyssa, yeah, Alyssa have you looked at the tape yourself have you seen it I have many times yeah. yes 
Yeah, yeah. Please be careful. Next time, Dr. Luke, we say do not power through, right? Don't power through. It's very, very frightening. Yeah. And make sure that you do get evaluated because there are, are other causes yeah. of fainting. So. Yeah. And, and I'm picking up my mug uh, because I'm going to stay hydrated. <laughs> stay hydrated. <laughs> Wake stay up hydrated. in the morning, you're dehydrated yeah, in general. That's true. Yes. Uh, Lisa Carlson, we are so glad you're doing okay today. And Dr. Luke, thank you very much for explaining it all to us. Uh, we appreciate it.